and we're back with another episode of the Ottawa Senators franchise rebuild. I believe we're in year number seven now, which is pretty insane to think. But the roster is looking amazing now. Just a quick reminder on who we got on the squad. Let's check out the edit lines here. First line, Tim Stutzla, 25 years old. Still getting better every season. Look at his stats. I believe last year was definitely his worst year. But outside of that, he's been very, very good for us. And I'm very happy with his career so far. 25, he can still grow. So far, he's got five points in four games. Stefan Furlan already has eight points in four games. Medium franchise, 89 overall, 20 years old. Superstar X Factor, five abilities plus his zone ability. He's just going to get better and better. And the funny part is he doesn't even fit on the first line. They want him playing on the fourth line, but that's just never going to happen. He's way too good to be on the fourth line. But that's where they really want him. That's not happening. And then on the right side, Bob Huxley, 21 years old, sniper, second line. Medium, actually, this is the two-way forward. My apologies. The sniper is Wooly. Huxley, so yeah, they got a plus five in that first line. Second line, plus five with Brady to Chuck. 28, getting a little bit older now, but... He's been pretty good for us, I think. 56, 68, 54. I mean, probably not worth the $8 million cap hit that he's on, but definitely been a stud for us this year. Uh, Tristan Wooley, our sniper here, the, one of our only snipers on the roster. Where does he fit? Third line forward for him, technically. I can give him a plus five if I bring him down to that third line. No, I like the plus two instead. And then Timothy Tarasov, another superstar X Factor, medium top six, 22 years old. He's only an 80 overall, but with the plus five morale boost, he becomes pretty damn good on that second line. The third line, we got our draft pick from last year, the two way forward beast, Phil Pitt, 80 overall. He's got the plus two, superstar X Factor. How's he doing so far? It's zero points minus four. It hasn't been too effective, but normally our third line, yeah, our third line always just gets scored on every year. So, Definitely something we want to keep an eye on. I think Phil Pitt has great defensive stats. Shane Pinto, not really. It's kind of mediocre. And then Xavier Bouglet has some pretty good defensive stats as well. And then fourth line, Avistalainen, Cody Glass, and Tyler Bertuzzi. Defensively, check it out real quick. We got Malkin and Branch from for that plus five. Two superstar X-Factors. Malkin's still only 20 years old, only going to get better. Then we got Shabbat and Chuck Montgomery who is one of our draft picks a couple of years ago, and then Will or Wesley Garvin and Adam Boquist. So, I mean, pretty solid there as well. Special teams, the power play, plus five on both lines. It just, we're just loaded. We have a superstar X factor in every, all 10 positions here, which is pretty insane. Penalty kill, plus five each. Uh, or that was format power play, penalty kill, plus five, and then plus two, another great, our special team should be great this year. Last year, they were supposed to be great too, but I'm feeling it. And in the net, our big addition, Connor Hellebuck. We got on a two-year deal where we tried growing Pierre Bluin. Let's get right into the season. I'm excited to simulate. Let's go. And we got to start off the year with another slow simulation. We're one and three right now. The record's not looking too, too sparkly, too shiny, but still early in the year. First period, and we get a goal from Bob Huxley. And, and Krebs gets one who is actually traded to Buffalo for Jack Eichel. Second period, we get another one from Tim Stutzla. Probably our most consistent uh, scorer over the past four or five years. And we get another power play goal, this time from Eric Branstrom. And Branstrom gets in two power play goals for Branstrom in three minutes. He's having an incredible season so far. If I remember correctly, he has like seven points in those three games, four games. But it looks like we're going to be able to take down the Vegas Golden Knights as Tim Stutzla gets another goal. This is the offense I know, and I think we can produce all year long. Three stars, Stefan Ferlin, the franchise potential playmaker, puts up four apples. Brandstrom, three points, and Connor Hellbuck. That's why we got you. 31 saves, 968 save percentage. Great game from the boys. Let's simulate a couple weeks here and see how the team's looking. 28 games in, and I had to stop the simulation here. Somehow we are 10, 17, and 1. With the team we have, I don't get it. I don't I don't know what's going wrong. But maybe we got to get rid of Tarasov off this first line. Xavier Bouglet comes up. Actually, I kind of want to throw Phil Pitt there. How is Phil Pitt playing? Not very effective. Not very effective for Phil Pitt. 
If it gives them the plus five of Buglet there, Buglet hasn't really done anything either. Tarasov, do I just want to bring down to the fourth line here? I mean, how, how's he done? He was playing on the first line, didn't really do much. It's tough. It's tough. What do we want to do here? Furlan's up to a 90 overall, though, having a great year. That, Huxley's not ha playing too well here. Eight goals, nine assists. What if I go Wooly on the first line? Can I make that happen? Not instead of Stutzla. I like Stutzla there. I'm going to I'm gonna mess with morale here, and I'm going to switch up some lines. How can we get this working perfectly? Bouglet in the middle. Phil Pitt. We're going, we're switching it up here. I have no clue what's wrong with this team. Our overall is incredible, but as you can see from the month of February, we have not won a game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten straight losses here. Might as well simulate these last couple games here. We didn't win it. We lost 11 straight games. We are 22, 35, and 4 with the roster that we have. I I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I need some help. I need you, the coaches in the in the comments to let me know what's going wrong here. 3.2 goals per game. It's not the worst. It's got to be our goals against, eh? 3.77 goals against. Power play percentage is at 26%, the best in the league most likely. The penalty kill percentage, penalty kill, second best in our division. Last 10, 1, 7, and 2. Home, we're terrible. Away, we're terrible. I mean, the analytics aren't terrible. Our special teams is fantastic. The only thing is we let in a lot of goals. We don't score. But for the team that we have, we should be scoring more. 48 points through 61 games. That's insane. I can't believe how bad the team is. I cannot believe it. Let's check these player stats. Brandstrom, 64 points in 61 games. Furlan, 59 in 61. Stutzla, 57. That first line is very, very much minus. Bob Huxley playing on that. I think he's playing first line. Or was it Wooly? Wooly's playing first line now. But a minus 20, minus 26. Is our defense really that bad? Is, do we even have a player that's plus on the squad? Huxley is the closest one to plus. Wow. Montgomery's at minus 26. Garvin, minus 22. You have five players that are minus 20. What is going wrong with this team? Hellebuck has been atrocious. 895, 368. Balloon has even worse somehow. I don't even know how that was manageable, but they both have an assist. I mean, what does that mean? But wow, this was definitely, again, for the second straight year, just I was not expecting the Ottawa Senators to play this bad. Let's take a look at the full, the entire league here. It looks like we're going to have to make some moves at the, the trade deadline. McDavid has 109 points. Drysaddle, 90 points. Brain point. Kyler, Kyler Yamamoto. What are we going to do? We got to make some moves here at the trade deadline. I'll see you guys in the trade deadline. We might have to uh, take care of some business here. And in the trade deadline, Thomas Shabbat. I mean, getting rid of Thomas Shabbat is probably not a good idea, if I'm being honest. But he is 31. Clearly not working. The Ottawa Senators, two of our top players. We got three of the top 10 players available on the market here. Let's find a trade. Let's start with Tyler Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi, where are you? I definitely, he's that low at an 86 overall. Okay. So, Hackett's probably my best option here. What's Hackett's deal here? 67 overall for Hackett and a seventh for Tyler Bertuzzi. Honestly, I'm trying to hold Bertuzzi. His trade value is low. It's basically getting nothing in return. Thomas Shabbat, we can get something though. I would I would like to hold on to Thomas Shabbat. Boquist a third for Klein. What is Klein's overall? 
Because I don't mind moving on from Boquist. I don't know if he'll even want to re-sign next year. 76 overall. Hmm. Let's... I think Shabbat is one of those players that moving on from might just be what we have to do, unfortunately. I'm going to try picking up Brant Clark from the LA Kings for Thomas Shabbat and two seconds. Let's see. Not willing to make that trade. But honestly, for someone like Brant Clark, you got to overpay. So I'd be willing to give him Fuller as a as a little bit more trade value. And will they accept that? And it is done. Thomas Shabbat, thank you for your service in the Ottawa Senators. But it's time to move on. I'm not going to make any more line changes here. We lost one of our, our key players, Thomas Shabbat. I, I thought of trading Brady to Chuck, but I just can't trade to Chuck. To Chuck's on the team for life. Best lines. I'm, I'm just going to keep best lines. Let the team play. You know what? Phil Pitt, enjoy yourself. Yeah, let's just get the young guys up there. Huxley, might as well. Top six. Bertuzzi, Hainsy. Who's this Hainsy guy? <laughs> 67 overall. Looks like he's playing now. But yeah, <laughs> what else can we do here? Bertuzzi, sure, you can play the third line. Hainsey, you're in the middle now. Cody Glass, maybe throw you in the middle, actually. You're probably much better. But yeah, it hurts. Clark's on the squad now. I feel like I should put Malk in here with Branstrom, as they were great before. So let them keep playing together. Clark and Montgomery, I kind of want to keep... I do want Clark on the first line. I don't want to stunt his growth at all. So maybe something. We'll just, you know what? Best lines. Whatever best lines are. But I, I want to change the forward line to make sure that, you know, get Phil Pitt there. Huxley can play there. Shane Pinto can go in the middle there. Tarasov. Do we send Pinto down? He's 27 now. He hasn't really done anything. He's a superstar X Factor, but that's about it. Let's simulate the rest of the year in this this back-to-back -back depressing season. And as the year comes to an end, I mean, do we even want to look at it? 30 wins, 47 losses, 5 overtime losses. Worse than the division by a long shot. Our goals per game expectedly went further down to a 3.06. Our goals against per game up to a 3.94. Worse than the division. Power play percentage... Still the best in the division. Our second best right behind the Florida Panthers. Penalty killing percentage, 81. Definitely took a fall after we lost Shabbat there. Last 10, 5, 4, and 1. You know, not bad in our last 10. Actually, I'm looking at the complete wrong thing. We're 3, 6, and 1. I was going to say, we have a positive home record, which is weird. But yeah, just a, a terrible year for us again. Entire league. Let's see where we're looking. We were second worst in the NHL this year. Uh, wow. Wow. 65 points total. Let's check out the team stats. Eric Branstrom had a really good year for us. I mean, he was minus 18. Furlan was a minus 36. Oof. I think we got to change the coach. I think that's the first thing we're going to do next episode is change the coach. Because I don't think it's working with the coach. So Furlan, 75 points in 82 games. Stutzla, 72. Tuchuk had a good year. Brant Clark had a great year, but with us, he probably wasn't too effective. 11 points in 20 games, not crazy, but 20 games, he was a minus 13. That's how bad we are. Huxley, 51 points, was pretty subpar, if I'm being honest. Wooley, Montgomery, Phil Pitt, minus 28. What is he up to, though? 81 overall, Shane Pinto. Kind of never really grew into anything for us. We tried growing them, but it just never really worked. So unfortunately, Shane Pinto is going to kind of stuck at the 80 overall. A potential good fourth, third liner, but it's probably as far as it's going to go with Shane Pinto. Here's our Isaiah Hainsey, 67 overall. He was only a minus five in 20 games. I mean, better than Brant Clark, right? And he scored a goal. Love to see it. The entire NHL here, though. Let's take a look. And Connor McDavid has one of those years that he's probably going to have in real life very soon. 134 points in 82 games. Patrick Kane, Dreisaitl, Marchant. Let's just, boys, this was a year to forget. End of the story.